This is Family Worship Experience International, a place of worship, word, and intimacy. Join us as we take a walk into the life-changing Word of God with Apostle Jonathan Shekonya. Inside, outside, lift your hands. Tell him, Lord, I'm available. Whatever you intend to do in this age and time, I'm available. I'm available. Don't move without me. Don't do it without me. I'm available. Jabarate kaski brate. Kobarada babaski la brafe ketira. Eprandes kopra faria de breskitala. Kembarate kuska fribari lo sabrateke. Enkraba sufra brilemende kraskitalika. Bambra sako prati fra brina maski la kavish. Zebrido sabrati la kavish. Enkra lina menu sabra briteke tibregata. Enkraba kou sabra vianda braskita belika. Lembra tato soba bariata braska. Erigaba shaba briende frisco pari elevetes. Erina manda riso fra bricati liga brash. Engrado sabra vigadesha. Empralino soba brianda cabri de gesha. Barande soba riadeta. Barinda fra braskebe. E caraba coto sope catila. E gran bra brondo sombre que grindasca. Rambangon don sembrendin don rabaski de beke Rambangam bron sobarate krade ke shalata E preko topa katile brande gedila Mamba rada sabariete ke la cabria E rosso pa cabarate ke skibataya Lembrata sopa reketile ka E remanda sopa prete ketile braka Remina sabariata vrende ketika and coso parata kelida bra e rosa bina manda vrasco paria kete le cava brianda sopa prete kete le barada bavriando sopa ria keta and capate coso parata i hope you are not just watching you are praying rebata libranda sopa brite ketia le bande coso prate vrambes kilata e ruba cabaya vambre seketilata e rina manda sopa brianda fapi Yeketila Yekapata kate basketopa Erimanda bras kabron Jobari edeke Elimana sabrata Leba brianda rozo Vimbra diketika Jekete kata maradama Emba kabri edeke skabrata Erina manda zuba Vimba kabri edeke Lezuna manda rasa Eraba kabate ketikata Elina manda rozo Zuzi kataka Abaya tahashata Embara kapriata kapriala Erina maso kambra teketila Embara teko sotoba Eribri dida maso baliana mata Ende brazo brambre dika Ariana uso papriada beke shita Ashata Leke papriata maso papriakate Mahara sataya Eraba kapate kusotoya Ebriana manda kabri so Soto pekatila, marande zokomaya, erimana sabakete, eraba kuparati lana mande kali, ramam brazilo mashalaka, eridi koto pakata, manda barate zekete, leko paka barata, elika bayata, embradi kabarata. Mayeke soparate, leka briana manda brazo kubra tekatila. Hayataba, Reketeba, Haritaba, Kashko, Marita Kevetila, Mangre Zubra Mino Saparia, Rama Kapreta Katapelepa, Raba Kapatekate, Jekatekata, Engra Patila, Vampe Koto Peketa, Regabrinda Regedebesha, Aprota Pakataya, come on two more minutes, can you just travel? For he that prayed in an unknown tongues, Jate Keto Parakatikaya, Erambra Zeketaya, Edifier himself, 
Arambai Eketesa Zopara Kapaya Rega Beta Pako Patatelagade Erina Manso Brade Kabriata Kela Yekaba Kapo Soparekatea Beloved, build up your sword in your most holy faith by praying in the Holy Ghost. Shabara and Rababri Nekatilaka. Let every flesh die. Let every flesh give way. Let it give way for the spirit man. Let it give way for the spirit man. There is a move of God in our territory. There is a move of God in our city. You dare to be part of it. 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 Shabarataba. Yakaba kapa rosopa la gatila. Reda brenda skabarina mando sopa kate. Leba gada pon sopa preya kada da 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 baisha. Zekata para kapa rata bakata. Eruna manda zibambre tomas keba la gada da baisha taya. Kaba koto bakati bara da baske para kapa katela. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Lift your hands and bless his name. Give him praise inside, outside, give him praise. Lord, whatever you are doing in this age and time, don't do it without us. We might be young and unexperienced, inexperienced, but Lord, don't do it without us. Take advantage of our availability. Use us. We lay our lives before you. Use us for your glory. For your glory. For your glory. Zekabaradabasha Brita Kabriya Katila Gash. Enkabakosubaradabakatilaka. In Jesus. Mighty name. Father, unto thee shall all flesh be gathered. We've come and we admit that you are everything without us, but we are nothing without you. We might not be able to meet your criteria, but Lord, we are available. If you can use anything, use us. Make us become kingdom advancers. Let us live for your glory. And let the least among us become as strong as David. Make mighty men out of weaklings. Thank you, dear Lord. Thank you. Amen. Please can you be seated quietly in this atmosphere? Amen, amen. 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 Amen. Whisper to him. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. Amen.
time oh lord amen 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 oh he's in this atmosphere amen amen there's no distance if you are following online or you are outside, just flow and enjoy the glory and the presence of the Holy Spirit. a beautiful thing to grow in this kind of atmosphere. For my eyes 
words of sin, the King, the Lamb upon the throne, who reigns forever. The Moon of God, Part Two. Can you receive them? of the Apostles 17 Jesus 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 there is something The fragrance, those of you outside the rain just fell. Can you smell something after the rain? Jesus, 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 let all heavens and the earth proclaim. Kings and kingdoms shall all pass away, but there is something about your name. There is something about, there is something about there is something about your name oh such a beautiful name about there is something oh there is something your name 
Orabakosi from Redikesha. Barada Satila. We love you. We adore you. We honor and reverence your holy name. You're the sweetest. The sweetest name of all. You're the sweetest, the sweetest name of all. You're the sweetest, the sweetest name of all. In the Acts of the Apostle 17, there's something so lovely so powerful, so beautiful about the name Jesus. He's a reason for everything we do. He's a reason for this gathering. Without him, honestly, we won't be here. He's the reason we are here. He is. Spirit, come flow through us. You see, this kind of atmosphere is so interesting. When you find yourself, take advantage of it. Don't just spectate and look around. Ensure you participate. And make my life what it ought to be. Holy Spirit, Come flow through. Holy Spirit, come flow through. Over oh, Shadakai. Holy Spirit, come flow through. And make my life what it ought to be. Now it doesn't matter how your life look now if you can decide to hand it over to him he can transform the weak you the beggarly you and turn you to become a wonder come flow through us holy spirit come flow through us and make our lives what they ought to be. Holy Spirit, come flow. Oh, we sing praises to your name. Oh, Lord, praises to your name. time we sing praises we sing praises to
your name for your name is great and great to be praised oh we sing praises to try to do a quick recap and then we add up something tonight trust God to find somewhere to stop for in him we live and then in him we move and in him we have our being and then the Bible says we are his offspring in him we live in him we move and in him we have our being genesis 1 2 he said chaos and darkness was everywhere and then the spirit of god moved upon the face of the deep that every time there is chaos every time there is darkness the dimension of the godhead that it sent to address that chaos is the holy spirit you could see this scattered all through scripture. Every time there was chaos, every time darkness was all around. Joel 2 tells us that darkness is everywhere the, the prophet prophesying. And then down in verse 28, he said, and he will pour his spirit. That every time there is chaos, the dimension of the Godhead that he sent is the Holy Spirit. And now the Bible said, in him, the spirit of God, we live, we move. And we have our being. I told us last two weeks, or last week, that the move of God is truly men in partnership with God, executing his purposes upon the earth. The move of God is God in partnership with men. That there can never be a move, God can never move upon the earth when men are not available. He will always look for men. He will always find men. Always. And I shared with us how that God has a limitation. In this realm, God has a limitation. And that the limitation God has is that he do not have a physical body. Is that it? Whatever is making noise, please help us address it. This atmosphere is too holy for you to start distracting or saying it. So every time God wants to move, he will borrow bodies from men. He will look for men that are willing to yield themselves. Men that are willing to donate themselves. And then he takes possession of them and move upon the earth through them. This is not just true about God. It is true about anything any spirit entity whether God or demons or Satan himself 
just help her and don't be distracted. That always God will have to find men. He will have to use men. The limitation is that God do not have a physical body. And so in this age, anyone, irrespective of tribe, irrespective of age, irrespective of who your father is, whether you went to school or not, irrelevant. If you can be willing to donate your life, your body, God is desperately looking for bodies. The book of Hebrews 10 verse 5, I believe, he said, a body has thou prepared me. A body has thou prepared me. God is looking for bodies. He, he needs human beings to do business with them. You saw the playlet by the preachers or what they came here to do? I was so touched and moved to tears. Our generation make it look like God is powerless. Our generation have made Christianity look like God is dead. Our Christianity now is no longer powerful. And then we blame it on God. But the truth is God is looking for yielded vessels. Listen. If you feel relaxed with the things happening in your territory, with the darkness looming around your territory and environment, if your spirit is at ease, it means God is still looking for men. You are not available. I don't care how much you do church. I don't care how available you think you are in the church. If you are comfortable with the evil and the darkness that looms across your territory, is a proof that although you are around, God is still looking for someone. Believe what I'm telling you. God cannot do it on earth without men. Believe me, he will always look for men. He's about to destroy the children of Israel. Look at what he said. He said, Moses, I will destroy these people and start with you. Why didn't he say I will start alone? I will destroy this. Then I will start another generation with you. Let me end these guys. But that my, my, my configuration as God will not permit me to do it without men. So if I kill all of these people, I will still have to need you. To start up another generation because men are always part of the equation men so i told us last week in the order of arrangement the first thing god is always willing to do or the first thing god does when he's getting ready to move in an environment is that he looks for men unashamedly ezekiel chapter 2 verse 30 and i sought for a man I, God, the Almighty, the All Powerful, I sought for a man. Can't you do it without us? Uh uh. I sought for a man. I looked for a man as powerful as I am, as big as I am. We sing all kinds of songs describing the almightiness of God. You are big, 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 great, great, great. He's saying, even at that height, I'm looking for men. The Creator. The Almighty, the one whose earth is his footstool, not feet, footstool. Meaning one of his legs occupies the entire earth. He said, but when it has to do with executing his purposes upon the earth, I look for a man. I will have to find a man. Unashamedly. He's not ashamed about it. I'm looking for men. I'm looking for men. If for whatever reason you think things are not working well in your territory, I bring you an answer. You are the one responsible. Blame it on no one. If God can find you, he can put an end to that evil. If God can find you, he can put an end to that evil. Believe it. So the first thing is that he looks for men. Let me show you a scripture. I, I wanted reading it, but I, I could not the last time we did this series. Give us the book of Judges 5 7. Powerful. Judges 5 7. The inhabitant of the village ceased. Maybe you look for another translation so that we can understand it well. Maybe NLT or there were few people left in the village of Israel. What killed them? What took them away? Who was the one that was destroying that, I mean, that, that village? He said few people were left. Other translation, we say village life ceased. Nothing was happening. It looked like the whole place was at a standstill. He said the village life in Israel ceased. It came to an end. Things were not working. He said until I until I Deborah arose in Israel. Things 
things were not working listen carefully until you decide to partner with god to arise nothing might really change believe it until you make up your mind to arise partner with god like deborah truly nothing might truly change we will keep consoling ourselves and prophesying and saying that it's coming a move things will get better as we grow old things will get better let me tell you something age does not change anything age does not change anything ask our parents they were young and kept believing that as they get old things will change fire will fall revival will come nothing change until you arise and partner with god nothing will change until i jonathan arose i've made up my mind to arise i'm telling you i've made up my mind to arise i said not the, the whole world might not hear about me but the locality where god has kept me was catch fire believe me even if the whole because hope you know that the agenda of god is global but the move is territorial the agenda is to reach the entire world but that the, the move is territorial god will always place people in territories strategic locations and listen if you are known around the world and your environment is not captured you are a failure i don't care who knows you outside if your environment is not captured for the lord you have failed it's like getting to heaven as a married man and you brought two million souls but your family was not saved and remember jesus told them that the move should start from jerusalem is that what he said it should start from jerusalem meaning your immediate environment should feel the effect listen we cannot be we are too many to be in this territory and darkness looms around people are about to image and i'm telling you they are imaging from this meeting strange people that will stand like like the saviors arising and they will judge the mount of esau they will put an end believe it until i deborah you can put your name there until i jonathan arose the media industry was in shambles until i jonathan arose ministry was something else until i refer to the sphere of influence where you are called to function until i arose politics was nothing to write them about in nigeria god is looking for men unashamedly i sought for a man i look for a man i looked for a man if anyone ah, let me not be faster than my shadow because there are things i will soon tell you these guys that did this thing are truly in the spirit because they, they captured my entire message i'm telling you this so when god finds men i told you last week that the second thing he does is that he pours his spirit is that it because it has to be the spirit and the bride that says come the move can never happen if the holy spirit sorry if the holy spirit is around and men are not available the work is paused if men are available and the holy ghost is not around it's still not complete revelation 22 and verse 17 the spirit and the bride say come until the spirit be poured from on high he said the wilderness will remain unfruitful it takes partnership the spirit and the bride the spirit and the bride that's the same. and i'm showing you this in the order of progression scripturally god can never move this order cannot be broken he can never move in a territory until men number one are available number two he pours his spirit on the available vessels i told you last two weeks that the coming of jesus was not just to redeem us but he was to redeem us and prepare us for the coming of the holy ghost because if the holy spirit had returned upon the earth and men are not ready and available he will go back because the work cannot be done so when jesus redeemed us he told us to wait the assignment was to redeem you and prepare you for him so wait until he arrives i promise to send him and when the holy ghost came you, you he did not appear with a physical body he came and inhabited men and then through them wrought wonders men the holy spirit it is the spirit and the bride that says come you are tired of the things you see around it is the spirit and the bride that say come even if you are a phd holder or a professor 
I'm telling you, intellect alone cannot manage it. God can take advantage of your intellect, but intellect alone cannot manage it. It is your intellect, your availability, and then God moving together. Maybe I give you one more scripture, but I think I'm taking longer than necessary here. Judges 13 24. And the woman bare a son and called his name Samson. And the child grew, and the Lord blessed him. Uh huh. Verse 24 25. Now, everybody wants to read. And the spirit of the Lord began to move him stop there the spirit now a body is available a child is available he has decided to yield his members and the next thing the bible said the spirit of god moved him the spirit moved upon him it has to be a man and the spirit the spirit moved before i proceed pray in one minute tell the lord i don't just want to be around i want to be available because you can be around you are in church you are around you are not available and you are not usable lord i don't just want to be around i want to be usable whatever it will take for the church to arise for the mantles to return for the church to arise for the mantles to return for the church to arise for the mantles to return for the church to arise for the mantles to return hari hari yo hari yo hari yo hari hari yo hari hari yo Hari hari yo yeah Hari hari yo Yeah Hari hari yo Mantles have been given to the church Elijah's arising from the church The Boras arising from the church Mantles are released to the church For the church to arise For the kings to be born For the church to arise For the prophets to be made For the kings to be born For the apostles to arise
something is happening oh i'm telling you your lives can never be the same ah, i'm telling you this this is how god builds people i'm telling you this progress number three in the order it follows this order when god finds men and he releases his spirit the next thing he does when i finish this today you will now know whether you are truly in alignment or not <laughs> the next thing he does is that he releases a burden for souls burden burden for souls burden you wake up one night you don't know you start crying for souls you are like why is my world like this why are young people like this why is lawlessness on the increase if you have never come to a point where this is a point of concern to you it means you are almost completely out of the agenda believe what i'm telling you you are almost completely out if you don't come to a point where you look at the things happening in your environment and you enter back into your room with tears there is this pain in your heart why is my generation like this why are young people walking around like this why is cultism on the increase why is immorality on the increase why is it that almost in every family there must be one child that grows out of the way almost in every family now there is one child that is now a problem to everybody and you are wondering what's happening it's like satan is building an army and he has a representative in every family and you are one you we, you just keep quiet and make it look like it's normal haven't you seen that in your family either your younger brother or elder brother is a problem you check the family of your friend same thing that is one person again it looks like satan is raising an army as god is working he's also working if it has never become a concern to you it means you are almost out of alignment out completely believe what i'm saying there must be this burden you go to the place of prayer to pray for your knees and for the next two hours you have never prayed for yourself you keep praying and calling names and interceding for people if this has not happened to you please wake up wake up you are sleeping wake up someone sent me a text he said apostle i'm not happy every time i come out of my house at times i run back but i don't know what to do because i see that my environment does not know god i said that's it that's it you are one of the people god is looking for can you be available and partner with him cobras cavern tikalatish he has nothing to do with being a pastor if you are truly in alignment as a believer you must feel this you have to you have to he said go ye into the world he didn't say pastors go ye into the world and preach the gospel but before he told them to go he said wait for the holy ghost is that in your bible wait until you are in deal with power when that partnership comes the next thing go preach the gospel everywhere and sure you get people believing and sure you get them believing in those days of our fathers there will never be a meeting that will come to an end without an altar call now we organize all kinds of revivals meeting and we finish the program and rest seed we raise all kinds of things except for altar call come on now where is the where is the god of our fathers where is the passion they had for souls where is that passion right now we've been taught a christianity i honestly don't know where we got it from right now everybody wants to share a testimony i got a job and that's fine we organize miracle services i got healed of hiv i got healed of a long boy a crotch in my body i got healed of, and that's beautiful but listen carefully the greatest miracle is not a job the greatest miracle is not sickle cell being healed the greatest miracle is not one leg growing out we've seen all of these things it's not even deaf ear opening no the greatest miracle is when someone comes into the kingdom the bible said there is rejoicing in heaven when one soul is saved not healed saved not blessed saved not bought a car saved not when build a house listen after tonight's meeting you have to carry a burden from here 
Koza bara teka vende ketila. Rembro. Lord, if you give me the job or not, kaba teka. Let me remain here until the kingdom is advanced. Yeah. 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 Help her. Passion. Passion. Zenkro das kaba leketila. Watch this. As soon as the Holy Ghost came on the apostles, the first thing that happened is that Peter stood up and started preaching. Is that in your Bible? It was not. It was not miracle yet. He was not blessing them yet. He stood up and started preaching. Men and brethren, we are not drunk. It is too early to assume we are drunk. This thing has been prophesied from ages. It is prophecy coming to pass. And the Bible said, while he preached that unorganized message. The people were pricked in their hearts and they said, Brothers, what can we do to be saved? And he said, Repent, repent, repent. That was the message. Repent. And the Bible said, That same day, Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2. The Bible said, That same day, that same day, 3,000 people, 3,000 came to the Lord. One day, one day. Shatarosa Bratekaya. Ankara, when last did you wake up at night and say, Oh God, for my family, my family must be saved? When last did you wake up? Oh God, my home, oh God, my territory, oh God, my household. Some of you have gone back to your village, you will go to your village and see the way young children are getting pregnant on daily basis no organized marriage they just get pregnant and you are you are quiet about it come on now i will not hold my peace i will not hold my peace until the light of jerusalem the light of israel become like a blessing torch i will not please be seated and help us under the anointing listen you have to cultivate this burden it is a proof it is a proof that you are in the programming of god the first proof burden burden jekambro savarati ella rosa ventratena savaratica enko sabatela erabaka he said the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me the holy ghost has come the next thing after the holy ghost arrived is to preach the gospel is to ensure someone is saved is to preach the gospel, help them under the anointing. Is to preach the gospel. Hallelujah. Listen carefully. Listen. If this is your quest for God, this thing you call hunger is not moving you towards souls. That hunger is not from God. No, it's not from God. It cannot be from God. Because when you get that power, I don't know where you are taking it to. It has to be a man. There must be a body. Passion for souls. I don't care what you are preaching. If this is not inculcated in your ministry, so winning, building the people, then you are not doing anything. Obviously nothing. Acts of the Apostles chapter 9. Give us from verse 15. Jambra teko rafrelina mateka. Zento rakabaye. Jata. And the Lord said unto him, Go thy way. For he is a chosen vessel unto me. And bear my name. And said to bear my name before the Gentiles. And kings and the children of Israel. This is Paul now. And Ananias is sent to pray for him. Let's read through, please, fast. For I will show him great things he must suffer for my name's sake. Let's read through. And Ananias went his way and entered into the house and putting his hand on him said, Behold Saul, brother Saul rather, the Lord, even Jesus that appeared unto thee in the way that thou comest has sent me that thou might as receive thy sight. Everybody the next line. And be filled with the Holy Ghost. That's the first thing. God has found a man. Paul is one. Now the next thing is that the Holy Ghost came on him. Next verse. Jambra Takaya, and immediately there fell from his eyes as it had been a scale, and he received his sight forthwith and arose and was baptized. Let's read on. Jambra Teka Ketila, and when he had received meat, he was strengthened, for he was fasting for three days. Then was Saul 
certain days with the disciples which were at Damascus look at the next verse everybody want to read and straight away he did what he preached Christ somebody must be saved somebody must be saved you know I, 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 I love winners so much because if you are born again today in winners they start teaching you how to win somebody else kingdom advancement kingdom advancement you have to be conscious of this a lot of believers today are need driven and we do not know that God has a need the Bible says he has given us the ministry of reconciliation he has reconciled us and given us that ministry to bring others to him a proof that you are truly in alignment is that you will catch this body you will catch it you will catch it passion for souls you enter the bus something is moving you to talk to the person by you why will you travel for 15 hours from here to the east and you were sitting close to somebody and you didn't say anything about jesus why how something should move you you enter KK. How, even if you can't talk why not pay their transport and tell them jesus love you why not drop a seed everywhere you go about jesus there is a point you can come to the body is so much even if you don't preach you must do something that reveals jesus yeah this was the passion of our fathers till today they carry that passion around i watch our father bishop david Oedeko. he came to a birthday birthday party of dr paul in nature some years back i think that was his 50th birthday he finished preaching in a birthday party and made altar call I was in my room i said what a passion oh god consume me with this kind of passion in a birthday party somebody will forget to make altar call he had to make it passion you wonder why god is blessing him why wouldn't god you insult him from today to tomorrow he keep rising please be seated a few minutes when you have this burden this burden three things happen to you number one it moves you to the place of prayer and intercession this i'm showing you the proof i'm trying to make this very simple you have to understand this so that you can vet yourself if you claim you have this burden i'm talking about now and it does not move you to the place of prayer and intercession you don't have it forget about it forget it you don't have it it's a lie if you have it it will drive you to the place of prayer you will be in the place of prayer for hours crying the bible said with groanings that cannot be altered you will be there interceding lord i cry for my generation lord i cry give me my city give me souls or i die this was a prayer of our fathers john knox give me scotland oh i die his own was the entire nation lord give me scotland oh i die give me the souls in scotland oh i die see the kind of prayer we pray now lord give me a car oh i die you can go ahead and die no you can go ahead man prayed and said lord souls or death souls or death kingdom advancement prayer not need driven prayer there is a difference between need driven prayer and kingdom advancement prayer need is the one you go with your prayer request need driven you go and bore God with stories stories and God is crossing his leg and looking and saying where is my place in this prayer point you brought Lord give me power Lord you must give me this give me give me a husband give me a wife give me this and God is saying you are you are a very selfish person when I give you this where is my place where is my place in this equation Lord I must pass my exams Lord if I if I don't scare through I, I will know you are not faithful and God is saying so where is my place anoint me with power and the whole world will see and he says see what passion it drives you to the place of intercession you can be there for five hours you are not even a pastor you don't have a church anywhere lost souls must be saved whatever has darkened the eyes of men not to believe the glorious gospel i remove it i contend for the souls of men real intercession this thing must return to the body of christ because the last move of god is going to be characterized with massive harvest of souls 
massive harvest of souls and until this happens we are not yet there and it will not happen when we are sleeping it will happen when we are awake imagine what will happen if all of us choose to pray at night one one hour and the prayer is oh god give us this city or nothing else give us this city or there will not be peace help them give us this city Shabarataya. imagine if we do that imagine if we do that it was two men that entered the city and the bible said they turned the world upside down two people look at the thousands of the people in this place our city cannot be at rest no way no way jesus must be revealed he must be revealed jesus you reign i think there's a song like that yes the lord of everything the lord of everything jesus you reign Jesus, you reign, the Lord of everything, the Lord of everything, yeah. Jesus, you reign, Jesus, you reign, the Lord of everything, the Lord of everything. This will become the life everywhere in our territory in our environment as you walk by your neighborhood in the evening jambros kavra rekota bate keska lord i eh, listen hope you know that in every territory there is a predominant spirit that is at work in the life of people at times if, if you don't need to be a prophet to know you just need to have eyes you will look and see that either drunkenness children of 15 are already taking all of those things and hiding you will know what is happening in that environment or young girls getting pregnant on daily basis you pass by you see two by two boys and girls everywhere when you see that you know and listen the way you start praying for that territory is not to call them first is to dislodge those spirits first ah huh? Yes, I'm showing you how it's been done you don't start praying and saying Lord they must be saved you come no 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 no, no. check the root of the problem wake up at night or walk around your environment Jambrataka, i come in the name of the lord you listen we don't just cast out demons from people we cast out demons from territories we can cast them out from territories remember when jesus was coming to the gathering the bible said a man was here possessed and when he met the man the man said please my name is legion don't cast us out of this environment meaning demons can be cast out of an environment and Jesus looked. He said, I get out of him. We can cast out demons from territories. So when you wake up at night or when you are walking around your territory, Father, I come representing a kingdom that is above all kingdoms. And in the name that is above all, I dislodge the spirit of drunkenness. I dislodge the spirit of cultism. I dislodge lawlessness. You do that again and again. Help them. You are ending the activity. Listen. And there will come a point when they are free you will be surprised how they troop into the church we are coming to a point where churches can no longer be empty no they should no longer be empty enough of having empty churches we are not even talking about overflows now churches are even empty you go to a service in the morning and you see that the crowd is even halfway and the church is so massive why no why and you go on the street the people walking on the street are more than those in the church war to him that is at ease in zion war war it moves you to the place of prayer and intercession then number two the kingdom sorry it moves you to the place of reaching out in any possible means every possible means after praying the next thing is trying to reach out to somebody about jesus in any way possible tracks talking to them about jesus paying their transport in the bus paying their school fee doing everything possible to ensure someone sees jesus if you are a comedian provided jesus can be revealed in your comedy it's fine it's fine we don't care the means you use provided jesus can be seen if you take jesus out of the equation we don't need it 
No, we don't need it. Whatever it is you are doing, find a way to bring Jesus into it. No, find a way. Bring him into it. He has to be the center of it. He has to be the Lord of it. He has to. And number three, the kingdom becomes your obsession. It becomes the reason for everything you do. It becomes the motivation. If you are trying to get a job, the essence is the kingdom. Ah! If you are get, trying to get married, the reason is not just to have a sex partner. No, no. The reason for the marriage is to ensure the kingdom is advanced. Somebody say, uh -uh, marriage again, kingdom. If your marriage will not represent the kingdom, better cancel it. Better stop it. There is no need. You want to make money. You know it. I'm supposed to be a billionaire. Fine. Why? If it's not kingdom, that stupid wealth is not needed. The Bible said the, the prosperity of a fool will destroy him. The kingdom becomes your motivation. The reason why you are so hard working, the reason you do everything you do is, oh God, if you bless me, there will be 1,000 people on my scholarship list. Not just Christians. Whether you are born again or not, come in and I will let you know that the person paying your school fee is Jesus. Is Jesus. Is Jesus. You see it you want to set up a school why you must have it in mind i will bring in a curriculum that will represent and reflect jesus right now our world is trying to do everything possible to squeeze jesus out of every system right now they are about to take out crk christian religious study or something like that out of the curriculum why because it's like we don't want to see jesus anywhere we don't want to now you are about to open your school you know god i've shown you you will have schools what's the plan he said my plan is just to work with what government is giving then you are not serious you are not about to have that school yet until you make up your mind that morning devotion be compulsory in your school yes they tell you you are fanatic tell them that's why i'm here that's why i'm here i'm not ashamed of the gospel of christ for it is the power of god unto salvation i'm not ashamed they tell you this tell them that's why i'm here he's the one that started the school hallelujah i think i was sharing i don't know whether it was kefi a businessman in this nation right now that is is amazingly doing well a very solid in christ solid right now it's almost like he's competing with their class of dangote because he's producing virtually everything now producing magic producing almost everything now a believer i've told you before there's about to be a kingdom wealth transfer guess what he will organize a concert at times seven day concert invite ministers come and sing worship this god and he will roll from pillar to post roll on the ground as that billionaire he will roll everywhere and after those days he will honor them and say you can go your way i only wanted you to come and help me worship this god you are a member of his company you have to be in the concert you are not here you are sacked of course they are trying to squeeze jesus out we are trying to bring him in by all means whether you are born again or not, you must be in that concert. You must honor the king. You have to. Some of us are too shy. If, if, I, if I keep talking about Jesus everywhere, they will think I'm, I'm, I'm... Brothers and sisters, ancient believers were beaten because of Jesus and they rejoiced. You're all talking about Jesus, you are ashamed. Passion. Passion. Burden. For so burden for souls lord give me souls or nothing else if my life will not advance your kingdom there is no point living i even told the lord if marriage will not advance the kingdom of god for me then there is no need marriage i don't care what it is it has to find a way of bringing jesus to the throne it has to find a way there is nothing in my life that i've not given to him to use and find expression through nothing nothing if i will become so blessed and i will lose sight of the kingdom then then let that world not come i think i'll be fine like this it has to be the kingdom it has to be the kingdom your kingdom reign your kingdom reign 
above all, above all, your kingdom reign, your kingdom reign, above all, above all, your kingdom be comfortable until Jesus is seen. Do you know there was a time I entered KK, this KK, and this guy in the KK is blasting his religious song. Have you, have you come encounter with that? And they don't care about you. You, you have a KK, preach gospel in that KK. He said, if I do that, they will think I'm too, you are, you are, you are not wise, I'm telling you. If you enter their own, you don't have a mouth. You will sit down and drink from the atmosphere they bring for you. Now you have your own. You say, if I bring Jesus in, they will think I'm, I'm what? I'm what? The Bible says we shall be called the ministers of our God. Are you ashamed of the one that was hung on the cross for you? Come on now. How about owning a transport company and making it come as soon as the driver starts out? Family worship messages are playing. Koinonia messages are playing. Bishop David Oedepo is playing. If you, if you will travel, enter. If you are not traveling, drop. And the excellence, the AC in the car, you must want to travel with us. Of course, excellence. You enter the car, the, the AC is almost choking you. Why would you want to travel with us? Why would you? You see, the reason people will have an alternative for you is because you are not even representing Jesus in the realm of excellence. I'm telling you, there is a level of excellence you can attain. They don't have an alternative. It's either they do the business with you or they do with you. You see it? He said, if I do it like that, the business will not grow. Because you are not excellent. Daniel had an excellent spirit. They said, don't pray to your God. He entered and opened the windows. And said, I know I have something that the king cannot do without me. Shabarataya kept praying. Jata kobara teketi lakaya ngabobo abobo your kingdom reign your kingdom reign abobo 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 I've been privileged to travel to some part of Nigeria. I've preached in, in, in far north. We entered a hotel. Maybe one of the best hotels around that north or that state. It's a, a core north. Guess what? There is a writing of their religion almost everywhere. You now, as a Christian, own the hotel. You can't write Jesus is Lord there. Why is it that those who hold the wrong thing are more passionate than those who have the right thing? Why is it like that? That those who are doing right are even more scared than those who are doing the wrong. What's wrong in writing it in your car? Jesus saves. What's wrong? Instead of customizing your name on your Prado Jeep, and as you are driving, they are seeing your name printed. Why not customize the name of Jesus and let everybody be reminded that he's king and that he's Lord. Can you learn to see yourself? 
behind the scene and Jesus is the one that is being projected. Can you learn that? Where it's not about you being projected, it's about the king being seen. Let him be projected. I don't mind taking the background. Let him take the lead. You see these guys will have two keyboard here. This guy is the lead keyboardist. This one is about, you are not even seeing him. See where he's hidden. But he doesn't mind. Provided you can hear the sound. He doesn't mind. Listen, it has to be like that with us. Where Jesus take the lead and you don't mind being at the background. Even if men will not see me, provided they can hear his voice through me, I'm okay. It's not about me being on billboard, but about Jesus being seen. Above all, above all. Ah, listen, even if I stop here, but I'm fine. But listen, when you leave here today, go and reorder your prayer point. Reorder them, reorder them. Because with the kind of list you have, you might spend 10 years and all of those prayers are not answered except for miracle service. But please, reorder your priorities. First on the list should be kingdom advancement prayer. Kingdom. It's not about me. It's about his kingdom. I am saved to ensure others are saved. Jarata kabakata you wake up at night your prayer time is one hour and 35 minutes you are busy interceding for your family members to be saved if you have to write their names please we, i'm going to give you an assignment after this teaching you will write out the name at least of seven people that you trust god to get them saved before the end of this year you will pray them into the kingdom Kabatakaya. you will pray them until they move into the kingdom i don't care the devil that has held them bound A man of God says something he said God is as powerful as your prayer meaning God cannot do without your prayer he will wait for you to pray and he move in the force of that prayer you will route out the name of people that must be saved in your environment that must be saved in your family and every day you wake up Barande Kasku Pratika Vrenti Lo Sakaya for this one the Bible says, whom the God of this world have blinded the eyes of them that believe not for this one let his eyes be open let his eyes be open Shabarata Kofraski Barataya is he rain? let them just enter above all above all above all your kingdom reign your kingdom reign your kingdom reign your kingdom reign above all above all come if you can sit around the altar just come running 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 come 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 please no restriction allow them to run in you can run in and find somewhere and just sit even if it's on the altar just come come quickly come can you take out two minutes and pray in tongues come and pray 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 let them come please let them come or just allow them to come Come and pray and show your prayer. If you don't mind sitting here, you can come anywhere around. Come on, are you praying? One more minute, pray. Do you mind sitting on the altar? You can come, please. You can come.
All right, can you just come in? Even if it's to stand, just come and stand. You can stand around here. Please come. Because as if we're still outside at the door, please come in. Come in. I'm sorry for the rain. Just come in. Please, Oshas, can you help them to come in? You must not sit, you can just stand straight. I think there are two seats here now. Some of you can sit here and give them space, all right? Now listen, I will find somewhere here and stop and we will continue next week, but listen, I want you to make up your mind never to be at ease in Zion. Make up your mind. A generation is depending on your prayers. Hope you know, listen, that some of you God saved on account of the prayer of your mother. Believe it. There are some of you, your mother kept praying. You know how stubborn you used to be. On a normal day, you wouldn't have been here. Somebody kept praying for you. The person prayed you into this kingdom. You don't even know how you got born again. You meandered into one meeting like that. And casually, there was an altar call. You, as you are coming and you know you are not the one. Something stronger than you is pushing you. And telling you, you better go out or you die. And you just kept coming out. It was a prayer of your mother. The woman had been traveling and crying. And saying, Lord, that's my only son. This son cannot become useless. This is my only daughter. She can't go like that. Kept praying. For many, it could be your friend. Your friend kept praying. Even while they invite you to church, you say you are not going. But they insisted in the place of prayer. And one day you stepped in and never want to go back again. Somebody prayer brought you. And listen, if it was somebody's prayer that brought you, then your prayer must bring somebody. Your prayer must bring someone. I want you to graduate from childish Christianity. I know some of you might be quite young, but how about starting this from a very young age? Graduate from this childish Christianity that every time you go to God, you go with a list and you are complaining, Lord, you have not done this. Lord, please do this. Come on now. Do you not know that when you meet the need of God, He meets your need? One time, one of our dear ladies here came she needed a job she had graduated as a medical doctor there is no job and i told her i want you to let's do an experiment go and be praying kingdom advancement prayer every night she woke up for 30 minutes and then she prays lord the kingdom must be advanced to a point she bought a map map of the world the large one she will kneel on it in her room and pray the nations into the kingdom guess what somebody called and said are you working yet he said no come only two of them got the job about to write medical exams you know medical exams very tough two exams within a week and she called me and said i've not read i told her have you been praying kingdom advancement prayer she said yes i said you passed the exams i told her if god fail you eh, come back to me if god fail you come back she wrote the exams without reading and passed the two exams you know the problem with us you want god to meet your need you don't know he has a need so every time you go around is your you are projecting what you want how about what he wants how about what he wants it will work a thousand times believe me believe me make up your mind oh god your kingdom first your kingdom first every time you are in the place of prayer look for that your friend that do not want to hear the word of God insist call his name until you drag him into the kingdom 
especially for those who are ministers or you already are, are having in mind you know that the call is upon your life you better learn this thing i'm talking about now i believe in my opinion that this ministry got started on the platform of intercession before the ministry ever started in my hundred level in school i wake up every night 3 a.m and the first one hour is to intercede it's not to ask god for anything i was a student i didn't have all the money in my room i didn't have a fan i mean the room was not even painted but every night I'm awake, Jean Prosca Pratica. I, 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 there is something moving me. When I come out and I see the young student around, living a lawless life, I can't just help it. Jarapakaya. I kept interceding. Let me tell you something. There are people who originally, the call of God is not upon their, not upon their life. It's their alignment that brings them into the call. Every night you are awake, the kingdom is your concern. God will look one day and say, although it was not my plan to call you, but you love my assignment too much. Collect from him that has and add to the one that. We're going to pray. We'll find somewhere to continue next week. But we're going to pray. Above all your kingdom reign your kingdom reign sorry for the inconvenience above all above all your kingdom reign hey. your kingdom reign above all above all above all above all there are a lot of people that don't know this thing I'm talking about. You hear men of God say this like, I will curse you. Have you heard this like that before? The same people Jesus came and died for is the one you want to curse. If you know the, 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 the place of souls in the heart of God, I will lay a curse on you. What are you talking about? The same people a man came and died for is the one you want to lay a curse on? When I see the way some people talk, I know they were not properly trained in the secret place. I know. I can tell where the problem started from. You're going to pray and ask the Lord two prayers tonight and then we'll close. You're going to pray and ask the Lord for the passion. I, 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 Lord, put in me the burden for souls. Passion for the kingdom. Burden for souls. Come and lift your voice and pray. Burden for souls. Lord, put in my heart, in my spirit, burden for souls, passion for souls. Shata baraka ba preta katele bataya. Hey na 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 the passion baptize me with passion for souls passion passion for souls passion for souls for the kingdom you must not be a pastor to have it you just need to be a believer pray Lord passion burden Burden for souls. Let me be restless in my spirit until I see souls being saved. Shata barata tabasko barata ya. Ye kama na 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 Shundu barata barakate, 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. We're going to pray, but listen to me. Listen. The man that pastors the largest church in the world, David Yonggi Cho, has a congregation of about one million people. One service. One million people in one service. Can I tell you the, the secret? These are the graces we trust God to carry. From the inception of the ministry, his mother-in-law will tap him every morning, 4.30. His mother-in-law, mother-in-law. May God give you that kind of mother-in-law. Because in Africa, some mother-in-laws are witches. His mother-in-law will tap him 4.30 a.m. And drag him to the church. They will start interceding till 6 a.m. Every morning for souls. Every morning. Every morning. It's almost like you have married my daughter and you claim you are called into ministry. You can't fail without. The woman was his mentor every morning. That was where our father, Ia Deboe, ran to and went and learned the mystery and the secret of church growth. You see the way redeemed blossom everywhere? Ask him, read his story, David Yonggi Cho. One million members. The door to a church is almost the length of this church. Door, door. How do you put the door of a church of one million people? It has to be as large as this. The secret every till today, every morning, is the prayer started growing until hundreds of thousands started joining that prayer. It looked like covenant hour of prayer. How many of you know that prayer? Winners, covenant hour of prayer. Every morning, why wouldn't they expand? Why wouldn't they increase? Brother, nothing just happened. No, all of this laziness, it has to end. If you can give your heart, this is a man, give your heart and say, Lord. I will be giving to kingdom advancement. I know I'm a businessman, but I'm sparing one hour for you every day. Every day. I'm a businessman. I have nothing to do with holding the mic like apostle, but I have an assignment in the body. Every day I give you an hour. That one hour is just to ensure someone is saved. So you wake up and pray. Even if it is in Korea or in China, may my prayer save someone around the world. May my prayer bring, I don't even want to know who is being saved, but may my prayer bring somebody to the kingdom. The Bible said they are taking for a prey and no one say it restore. In other words, Satan is, is taking hold of a people and there is no one to intercede. We're going to pray one more prayer and then we close the night. I know we are so shocked. With the overflow that came in but listen when you go home write down the name of seven people that you will watch this year get saved in your very eyes i mean in your and when you do this don't go to sleep in your write down your name maybe your neighbors and here and there right even if he's a cold boy write his name down face that name every night lord for this guy i snatch him from the hands of hell I snatch it from the hands of courtesy. I snatch it from the hands of drunkenness. Every day, keep praying. One day you'll be surprised. That same person you pray for will be a pastor. And you wonder, it's your prayer that God them saved. You will go home and write down the name of seven people that must be saved this year in your very eyes. In your very eyes. last prayer Lord let this city be saved in the name of Jesus we turn this city to you and we declare that let there be massive harvest of souls in this territory and around this city and around this state and around the nation Nigeria let there be massive harvest of souls let there be massive harvest of souls lift your voice and pray Lift your voice and pray. Shata barra kapari atakaya. Shamba rako barra kata patakatala. 
Lord, give us this city. We take it for the king. We take it for the king. We capture it for the king. Give us souls of nothingness. Rapa Kapaya. Our one desire is to see you save people. Is to see the nations worship you. Is to see the nations save. Jabara Kapare Kete Ketela. Bakretas Kopara Katela Ka. Jesus, you be lifted higher, be lifted higher, be lifted higher. In this city, Jesus, you be lifted higher, be lifted higher, be lifted higher. Yeah, Jesus, you. Jesus, you believe that Jesus, you believe Jesus, you believed in higher, believed in higher, higher. One more time, Jesus, you believed in higher, believed in higher, believed in higher. In our nation, Jesus, you believed. Believe that higher, believe that higher, believe that higher. Yeah. Jesus, you believe that higher, believe that higher, believe that higher. Declare it, Jesus, you believe that higher. Just the voices. Jesus, you believed in higher. Believed in higher. Believed in higher. One more time. Jesus, you believed in higher. Believed in higher. Believed in higher. Can we pray one more prayer? Hold the hand of someone. Shalabara diota. Yalabara diana. Listen, it's a very strategic prayer. Look at the prayer. Lord, anyone that is within my age bracket in my territory, I call them into this kingdom. Huh? Huh? Anyone that is within my age bracket, if you are 21, you are praying for any young man around your territory that is 21. If you are 35, any young man or young lady that is 35, pray, Lord, anyone that is within my age bracket, I compel them into this kingdom. The Bible said the mountains of the Lord's house will be exalted above the mountains and the hills, and the nations shall flow into it. Pray, I call them into the kingdom. Pray, Shareko Topakata. I call them forth. You are 
around my age bracket 23 25 32 31 30 45 60 pray for them even if you are age 5 pray pray I can see young children praying pray even children will be saved in our age the nations must be saved the city must be saved the nations must be saved the city must be saved the city must be saved Sharana neko to parate kaya lem prate ke te ke te ka parata she ke prate ke parataya massive harvest of souls massive harvest of souls massive harvest of souls they will be saved in this city in your nation from wherever you are listening from. In Jesus, mighty name we pray. While your hands are still locked together, last prayer, very last prayer. You will pray and dislodge the spirit of wickedness that has kept young people hostage, that has kept elderly people hostage. The spirit of wickedness, drunkenness, cultism, the spirit of immorality. We cast you out of our territory. We cast you out of our territory. We cast you out of our territory. Let the people go. Let God's people go. They are taking for a prayer. And no one shall it restore. We declare restore. We declare restore. We declare restore. We dislodge. We cast out of our territory. The demonic prince that has held those people bound. That have stopped them from coming into the kingdom. And in the name that is above all names. Your reign is over. We command the massive others of souls. Your word is over. Shaka barada bakoso brafiletesh. Empre bilo sabare kretimilo. Rakata rekoso barata baladadamesh. Shaka babri atabakaski barata. Yemana so barata kesa. Jesus. Jesus. In Jesus mighty name hallelujah hallelujah this is how we pray kingdom advancement prayer when you go tonight continue I'm telling you some of you will watch things turn around in your family like a joke continue lift your hands and bless the name of the Lord give him praise Give him praise. Give him praise. Lord, in our city, in our local government, in our state, in our nation, Nigeria, in our continent, Africa, and in the nations of the world, Jesus be enthroned, be lifted high, and we see the nations being saved. We see thousands millions and billions being saved on daily weekly basis monthly basis we refuse to hold our peace until the kingdom of our god become the kingdom of christ bless the name of the lord hallelujah i pray for you today in the name of jesus and i decree and declare you have prayed one of the most powerful prayers tonight I'm telling you, this is one of the height of maturity in prayer. 
where you ignore your needs and focus on the needs of the kingdom. For doing this this night, may you see something in your life this month that will be a proof that God honors what you've done tonight. As you continue this prayer this month and the days goes by, may your life begin to become a wonder to your world. The things that have made you cry will become testimonies. The things that have become a burden to you, the Lord will take them. And in the name of Jesus, you will see results in your life like never before. Above all, tonight I pray that burden for souls, passion for the king and his kingdom, let it be released on you. May your prayer become kingdom advancement prayers. May your focus become the kingdom. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And I decree that through you, thousands will be saved. Through your resources, millions will be saved. Through your prayers, millions will be saved. Be empowered tonight. Be an agent for kingdom advancement. In Jesus' mighty name. I'm sure you feel good in your spirit. Believe me. This is one of the sweetest form of prayer. You finish this kind of prayer, the excitement in your heart is almost like you won a lottery. My counsel is ensure you do this throughout this week, throughout this month. If possible, make it a lifestyle. Then watch your life become a wonder. Watch your life become a wonder. Hallelujah. I want to make an altar call now while everybody stand there is not even space to sit please everybody stand you know you are here and you are not born again tonight you've heard the message and you truly are convicted in your heart you don't have to sit everybody just stand still and tonight you are saying I choose to come back home for the king, for the king and his kingdom I'm rededicating my life Oh, I'm giving my heart to the Lord. Wherever you are in this building, I want you to raise your hand. I want to pray for you. Raise your hand. Don't be ashamed. We are a family. You see the way we've been praying for you? Raise your hand. Raise it high. It's our desire to see you saved. One of the greatest miracles we cherish is the miracle of salvation. I can see a few hands. Can you lift them higher? God bless you. If the Lord is taking to you to come back home to him, there is no point thinking twice. Raise your hand. Join them. Join them. Join them. All right. Your hands have been lifted. I don't know. Is there a space to do this? Come. Come quickly. I think there's a space here. Come. I want to pray with you. Come. 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 God bless you. Come. Even if you are outside, come. I'm waiting for you. Come. My sister, take that step. Come. My brother, you don't have to stay back. Take that bold step. Come on now. Take that bold step. You are a wise person. You've heard the word of God. Come. Come quickly. A friend should not stop you. No. Instead, the friend should be an encouragement. If your friend is saved and you are not saved, there is a problem. Come. God bless you. You have to join. Join quickly, my sister. Come on. Come. 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 Take that step. My brother, take that step. Come. Come. Jesus, you be lifted higher. Be lifted higher. If you are coming, come fast. Bless your hand and your heart. I'm going to pray with you now. I wanted to pray this prayer a minute from the depth of your heart. Say, Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God, and I believe you died for me. Say it from your heart. I believe you died for me. And I confess with my mouth today that Jesus is Lord of my life forgive all my sins and I receive by faith eternal life I'm born again I'm a child of God thank you for saving me amen and amen father I pray for your sons and daughters I decree the name of the Lord be named upon you Satan lose claims over your life 
And from today, a new beginning has come for you. Go and love the Lord. Be planted and established in this grace. In Jesus' name. Amen. Please, you just follow this young man. Is that the rain has stopped now? All right, just follow him and they will attend to you quickly. God bless you. Follow. God bless you. 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 Amen. All right, before we, we say the grace now, wherever you are, and this is your first time being with us tonight, can we bless you? Just come, let's pray for you. Come, come, let's just bless and pray for you before we close. This is your first time with us. You've not been here before. Come quickly, let's just bless you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Keep coming. Come closer. Keep coming. Today is your first time. Jesus, you believe. Oh, believe. Believe. showing up tonight. This is family worship experience. I want to believe you are blessed. Thank you for taking our time out of your busy schedules to be here. It's such an honor receiving you. I want to pray for you and then join our faith with you. If there is anything you desire, the Bible says one chairs a thousand and two chairs ten thousand. I want to join my faith with you and pray and trust God that something new happen in your life. And it will be our pleasure to keep having you. We meet like this every Sunday evening. Thank you for coming. Can I pray with you now? Father, thank you for your sons and daughters. You brought them here by your mighty power. I decree in the name of Jesus that grace be multiplied on you. And if there be anything tonight you are trusting the Lord for, I decree that let it be released to you. I release my faith now and I decree that let that need be converted to a miracle. And in the name of Jesus, carry another dimension of God's presence. From this house, go and let your love and passion for God rise to a new level. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The things that could not work before, from today, possibilities. Possibilities. Let result be multiplied. Go and never be the same again. And your lives are preserved. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Thank you for coming. And the Lord bless you. It's an honor receiving you. And please, in one minute, our officers will be attending to you. Thank you so much. You just take this way, follow the young man there, and they are going to direct you and attend to you. God bless you. Just follow them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless 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 you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. God bless you. Such an honor receiving you. Hallelujah. Are you blessed tonight? All right. Um, there's no need sitting down because um, is it rain again? No. This rain should not play with us this year. Say amen. Every Sunday we have to be secured. No rain. Right? Yes, it has to be secured until we build our next hall. I can carry everybody inside. Amen. All right, few announcements and then we close tonight. Next week, we will finish this series. Ah, there is something I wanted to share today. But next week, say amen. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I came with this thing burning in my spirit like fire. So we'll wrap it up next week. Say amen. And then... Um, when we close, especially for those who are young people in our midst, still under your parents, as soon as we close service, it's now a counsel and a strong advice that you just run back home. Say amen. Yes. If you want to see me for whatever reason, for so, so that is, is that I'm down greedy for another one hour. 
Now you get home and your parents think we close service by 10. And this is 8.30. Say amen. So it is wise that those of you who are still very young, you go back home. And even if you are an elder, <laughs> you just quietly behave yourself and package yourself and start going home to say amen. <laughs> Except if it's very necessary to see me or something, I will always be here. However, if it's not necessary, if it's just greeting, I greet you in the name of the Lord. <laughs> Amen. So that you can be home on time. And secondly, um, tomorrow our workers meeting return. Last week was Easter. How many of you enjoyed the meeting on, on Monday? It was really an experience. So please, um, tomorrow our workers meeting resumes. Let, let's be here tomorrow by five, all the workers. And then finally... The forms for school of, school of ministries that I mean is, is ready, is out now. Amen. Yes. The forms are out. From tomorrow, 12, we're supposed to bring them today. Honestly, they are not here, but tomorrow they are going to be here. The forms are going to be available tomorrow from 8 a.m. to 12 noon. From tomorrow till 25th of April. And, um, the number of intake is limited. People are already buying forms and coming from, from various states, from Kogi, Kaduna, and various places. I never knew it was going to be like that. I thought it was just going to be within here, being that this is the first time. But the traffic coming in from other states is almost unimaginable. Almost unimaginable. And um, there is a limited number of people we're taking, being that this is the first time. We're going to have these two weeks intense training May. Lecture starts by May. May 3rd to May 3rd. 16 or 15 graduation day is 16 Sunday and then the second phase of it will happen by November that will be the advanced class then from next year now um, the pattern might change so take advantage of it this year say amen so if you have to get the form get it quickly before the number gets to the limit and then um, they are off it's something very affordable but that is too fee. say amen by the truth. Uh -huh. This one is, is cool. So please, you can get the forms from tomorrow. They'll be here. They'll be on sales. You'll come and find um, an admin person. And we will do that for you. Say amen. Can we close now? I was supposed to share something, but it's just part of it I will touch next week. The remaining part will be shared in school of ministry. Say amen. Yes. Very powerful. The three anointings that if you carry, the nations must open for you. I'm telling you, the Lord taught me these three major anointings, giftings. If you carry them, no nations can resist you. So we'll share one. The remaining two, school of ministry. The remaining two is for pastors. Say amen. <laughs> it's for ministers. All right, lift your hands and bless the name of the Lord. Give him praise. Bless the name of the Lord. Give him praise. All right, finally. We hope you've been blessed by this message. Keep walking in grace. For additional information, follow us on our Facebook page. Or you could visit us on our Telegram page, Family Worship Experience International.